So if any of you guys follow my channel, you will know my 2020 has been absolutely terrible. Is this a sign that my 2021 is going to be off to just the same terrible start? Let me show you what happened to my under 24 hour old brand new 2021 Ram 1500 Laramie. 77 miles and this happened to me. Ugh. Let me show you guys what I'm now experiencing with my new truck. So, this is pretty interesting. Uh, you guys can see I have 77 miles on my new uh, 2021 Dodge Ram, and look what happened to pop up. I just heard a ding and didn't know what it was, and it turns out it is a check engine light. What the actual fuck? So, the vehicle is uh, driving fine, but I guess once we get home, I will check the codes with my code scanner and see what it is, but... Uh, that is, uh, yeah, that's a little peculiar to happen already with 77 miles on the vehicle. All right, so the OBD2 port is directly underneath the steering wheel. And uh, let's go ahead and jump in and run the code. All right, let's see what it be. Let's run it again. Mill status on, DTC count, ECM, okay, there we go, read codes, stored codes, ISO SAE reserved, what the fuck does that mean? Gotta love these Chinese, uh, Chinese deals, what the fuck, what a piece of shit. P219A, I guess, is the code. So let me see if we can uh, look that up. They're probably going to tell me that the uh, car is too new to look up the codes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, what does that mean? No fucking clue what this code means. So let's go ahead and try and look this up on the internet. I'll be back. So now is another interesting issue um, with the RAM. I go to do a... Um, Remote start, and it says, remote start disabled, start the vehicle to reset. Go ahead and try and do the remote start, and nothing. So, uh, I don't know what is up with that. Alright, so, that awesome uh, cold start video did not go as planned. Let's try the remote start now, now that I started it manually, and see if it actually starts up. Alright, so it started up again. Last time it started up, uh, it shut off after a couple seconds. Let's see what it does. Let's give it a few seconds and it shuts off again. So, uh, I don't know what is up with that. This is another glitch with it. I don't know if it is because it ran that code yesterday and the code is still enabled and maybe that uh, shut off the remote start. But uh, let me go ahead and run codes again and see if there's anything new on it. All right, so I did a little bit of quick research and it turns out that the remote start will get disabled if there is an active cell. Um, and for some reason, I am unable to successfully clear the cell um, because my OBD2 reader is not allowing me to clear it for some reason. So uh, no more remote start on this until I can get somebody to clear the code. Um, this worries me a little bit more about the code, but uh, I guess that's just some sort of failsafe that uh, Dodge built into these, assuming that the code was a little bit more um, 
uh, serious than probably what mine is. So we'll go ahead and get this started manually. We'll let it warm up and we'll go do a review.